Hey everybody, today we're getting into indeterminate forms and L'Hopital's rule. When you're doing limits in calculus, it's a good idea to just substitute in first. If nothing goes wrong and you just get a number back, you're probably good to go. One of the most common things that can go wrong when you try substituting in is that you get a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, as in this example. Those are what we call indeterminate forms, and that literally just means we haven't determined the answer yet. When you get a limit that looks like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, the actual limit could be 0, infinity, or anything in between. We have to do more work to figure out which. One comment here, when I say that that limit is equal to 0 over 0, um, that's not, ex not literally true. 0 over 0 isn't even a number, so it can't be equal to something else. It's just notation that means that the limit has that form. L'Hopital's rule is a quick and easy way of dealing with indeterminants that have the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. It says that when you're doing a limit like that, you can differentiate the numerator, differentiate the denominator, and then take the same limit. And you should get the same answer. Um, let's do one simple example and then move on to a couple of more complicated ones. Limit as x goes to 0, sine of x over x. So I try plugging in, sine of 0 is 0, so this is a 0 over 0 form. L'Hopital's rule says I can differentiate the top, cosine x, and differentiate the bottom, 1, take the same limit, and get the same answer. This limit's easier. This one I can do by substituting in. I plug in x equals 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so the limit is just 1. Um, do notice that I differentiated the top and I differentiated the bottom separately. I did not apply the quotient rule here. Um, that's a very common mistake that you'll want to watch out for. Slightly more complicated problem. Limit as x goes to infinity, e to the 2x over x squared plus 5. So as x goes to infinity, both the numerator and denominator grow with that bound. This is an infinity over infinity form. I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule. Um, keep the limit the same, differentiate the top using the chain rule to get 2e to the 2x, differentiate the bottom, and it's just 2x. Now when I try um, taking that limit as x goes to infinity, I get an infinity on the top and an infinity on the bottom again. It's still an infinity over infinity indeterminate form. Of course, there's nothing that says we can't apply L'Hopital's rule again, and so we should do that. We differentiate the top again, we differentiate the bottom again, and we get the limit as x goes to infinity, 4e to the 2x over 2, which is just going to be infinity. The numerator is growing without bound, the denominator is staying constant at 2, so overall the fraction is going to grow without bound. There's no limit to the number of times you can apply L'Hopital's rule in a single problem. Twice is fine, 50 times is equally fine. However, there are plenty of, plenty of places where you should be careful about applying L'Hopital's rule repeatedly. So these next two examples will show us um, some situations when to apply L'Hopital's rule and maybe also when not to. Limit as theta goes to zero from the right, tangent theta over theta squared. So plugging in, I get zero over zero. This is a zero over zero indeterminate form. L'Hopital's rule applies. I differentiate the top differentiate the bottom, keep the limit the same. So before you charge in and do L'Hopital's rule again, you should always remember to substitute in and make sure that you actually have an indeterminate form. Here I do not because the secant of 0 is 1. So the numerator of this fraction, secant squared, is going towards 1. The denominator, of course, is going towards 0 from the right. So overall, this fraction is going to positive infinity. If I had applied L'Hopital's rule a second time here, I would have gotten the wrong answer. So that's a, another common mistake to really watch out for. Let's do another example. Limit as x goes to infinity, natural log of x over the square root of x. This is another infinity over infinity form. Both the natural log and the square root are growing without bound as x goes to infinity. So I apply L'Hopital's rule. Keep the limit the same, differentiate the top, differentiate the bottom, x to the negative first over one-half x to the negative one-half. Now, as x goes to infinity, this is a zero over zero form. This is an indeterminate. However, 
you shouldn't just blindly do L'Hopital's rule again. This is a place where there's an easier way forward. We should simplify this limit before we do anything else. So x to the negative 1 over 1 half x to the negative 1 half is equal to 2 over x to the 1 half. And this very clearly goes to 0. So even though we could have applied L'Hopital's rule here, things are a lot easier if we don't. And in fact, if we had applied L'Hopital's rule a second time, and you should try this on your own, the problem doesn't actually end up getting any easier. The limit we get is, is no simpler than the one that we have there.